the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. divine praises together. Blessed be God, the Lord of the Holy Name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of his altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together, we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary on a Saturday. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from, <clears throat> from the book of Genesis. When Isaac was so old that his eyesight had failed him, he called his older son Esau and said to him, Son, Yes, father, he replied. Isaac then said, as you can see, I am so old that I may not live, that I may not die at any time. Take your gear, therefore, your quiver and bow, and go out into the country to hunt some game for me. With your catch, prepare an appetizing dish for me, such as I like, and bring it to me to eat, so that I may give you my blessing before I die. Rebekah had been listening while Isaac was speaking to his son Esau. So when Esau went out into the country to hunt for some game for his father, Rebekah then took the best clothes of her older son Esau that she had in the house and gave them to her younger son Jacob to wear. And with the skins of the kids, she covered up his hands and the hairless parts of his neck. Then she handed her son Jacob the appetizing dish and the bread that she had prepared. Bringing them to his father, Jacob said, Father, yes, replied Isaac, which of my sons are you? Jacob answered his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I did as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game so that you may give me your special blessing. But Isaac asked, how did you succeed so quickly, son? He answered, the Lord, your God, let things turn out well for me. Isaac then said to Jacob, Come closer, son, that I may feel you, to learn whether you really are my son Esau or not. So Jacob moved up closer to his father. When Isaac felt him, he said, Although the voice is Jacob's, the hands are Esau's. He failed to identify him because his hands were hairy like those of his brother Esau. So in the end, he gave him his blessing. Again he asked Jacob, Are you really my son Esau? Certainly, Jacob replied. Then Isaac said, Serve me your game, son, that I may eat it, and then give you my blessing. Jacob served it to him, and Isaac ate. He brought him wine, and he drank. Finally, his father Isaac said to Jacob, Come closer, son, and kiss me. As Jacob went up and kissed him, Isaac smelled the fragrance of his clothes, and with that he blessed him, saying, Ah, the fragrance of my son is like the fragrance of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give to you of the dew of the heavens and of the fertility of the earth abundance of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations pay you homage. Be master of your brothers and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be those who curse you and blessed be those who bless you. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise you, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to his name, which we love. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel for his own possession. 
For I know that the Lord is great. Our Lord is greater than all gods. All that the Lord wills, he does in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the deeps. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak, and the tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the skins burst, the wine spills out, and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wineskins, and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's readings are just uh, in the usual cycle of the readings, but uh, it lines up well with celebrating today the celebration of the Blessed Virgin Mary on a Saturday. Um, our reading from the book of Genesis is one that St. Louis de Montfort talks about in his book, uh, True, Devo True Devotion to Our Lady, um, drawing a parallel uh, between what Rebecca does and what Mary does for us. Um, of course, you know, as uh, St. Louis talks about this story. He's not condoning the, the deception that uh, Jacob shows in, in the course of the first reading. Um, but there, there's a key, a key element, again, uh, that he points to that what Rebecca does is what Mary does for us today. Um, we see Rebecca uh, prepares this meal in, in a way that uh, Isaac likes. Uh, and that's kind of one of the keys that earns Isaac's blessing for, for Jacob. Uh, so Similarly, what Mary does for us when we turn to her with our prayers is that she prepares them in a way that the Father likes. Um, she who has a perfect knowledge of, or a perfect uh, openness and conformity to the will of God um, makes our prayers you know, fit in a way or prepares them in a way that, that um, God finds acceptable. Uh, so, you, you know, like when we pray for things, sometimes we have mixed motives. We might pray for um, the success of our business, a good thing to pray for, uh, but perhaps in our heart there's a little bit of attachment to worldly goods that, you know, is coming behind that prayer. Um, or we pray for the end of our cold that we're suffering, um, which is a good thing to pray for, but perhaps behind that there's a part of us which is like not ready to bear the cross that Jesus gives us, right? Um, our wills are not yet perfectly in line with what God's will is. Um, but as we offer those prayers, uh, we can turn and say, Mary, pray for this intention for me. Uh, and then she does the work of taking away those impure motives and then presenting it to God in its pure form, in a way that's in line with God's will, um, much like Rebecca, again, does in, in our first reading today as she prepares this meal in a way that um, Isaac likes. Um, and in doing so, earns the Father's blessing, earns Isaac's blessing. As we, um, of course, as something's prepared in line with God's will, he will grant it <laughs> because it is his will. So uh, it's a great example for us then of why it's important and good for us to turn to Our Lady and offer her our prayers, um, to ask her to pray for us um, as she offers our prayers to the Father and makes them pleasing to him uh, that his will might be done.
let us stand and offer our petitions. For the church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen and sustain her as she proclaims the good news of salvation in Christ. We pray to the Lord. For an end to all violence and war in the world, may the love of Christ bring peace and salvation to all. We pray to the Lord. For all who are separated from loved ones because of disagreements or differences, may the Lord give them the grace to live in justice and harmony. We pray to the Lord. For all in this community who are elderly, disabled, sick, or homebound, may they be comforted and strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially those who have no one to remember them in prayer, may the love of God bring them into his eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, And for the repose of the soul of John Pribransky, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, we bless you for your goodness to us. In your infinite mercy, please hear our prayers we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your name, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of the Holy Spirit. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen.